everybody welcome to the apple ninja today we're going to go over system wide translation it's a new feature in mac os monterey and later i'm going to show you how it works in safari photos notes app keynote pages preview and siri and then we're also going to go over how to download these languages so you have them on your system and you can use them when you're not connected to an internet connection so currently there are 12 languages that you can translate on the Mac right now. So right here we've got a picture within a web page and I'm going to show you how you can easily use live text, which is a new feature as well, to just highlight the text, control click it, and then you're going to come down to translate and you're going to get this nice little window. It's going to show you the text translated over on this side right here if i were to click more all that does is expands this out so i can read it all right there and if i hit play i can actually listen so i can hear what it sounds like in that language I can also click copy translation. So now I've got it copied, I can go paste that into a note. So I wanna show you how it works in the Photos app. If I control click this photo, I'm gonna say add image to photos and it's gonna open up. Within the Photos app, live text works the same exact way. I can just control click on it, hit translate and it does it. But if we go over to the Notes app, and open it up. Live text doesn't work, so I can't do it to the photo, but if I have the text down below, this is a really nice feature when you have just plain text. I'm gonna control click it. I'm gonna do translate at the top. I can actually do replace with translation. So I can just click it, and it's gonna convert it right there on the fly. The one thing we can do with this photo, I can select it, control click it, and I can actually say quick look attachment. So I'm gonna quick look it, and now I can actually highlight it, control click, and do the translation right there. So it's a little bit more complex within the Notes app. Let's head on over to Keynote, which is going to work the exact same way as Pages does. So I have a photo here. If I control click it, I don't have the ability to do a quick look. So I really can't highlight the text. I can't use live text on this photo, but I can translate the text that's over off to the side here. So I just copied it, control click it, translate, and I can do the replace with translation or the copy translation and we're good to go. Pages works the exact same way as Keynote does. So let's head on over to Preview and take a look at how that works. Preview is going to allow us to do live text within the photo. So I can just highlight it, control click, hit translate, and boom, I've got that text. Now we're gonna take a look at Siri. How does Siri work when trying to translate. We're gonna initiate Siri. Translate hello into French. Here's what I found. Sometimes when you ask Siri, it'll actually speak the text back to you as well, which I find kind of nice. So now that we've gone over all the apps, how you can use this translation, let's take a look at how can we download those languages so that we can use them when we're no longer connected to the internet? So we're gonna command spacebar, do spotlight. We're just gonna type in language and it's gonna pop up with the language and region system preference pane. I'm gonna hit return to open it. And it's gonna bring me in to the system preference pane. I'm gonna click on translation languages. And if I come down here, you're gonna see that I already have French right there. I've downloaded it. It took about 177 megs of space to download this. So you do wanna be aware of 
which languages you're going to be downloading. But what you have to do, so if I go and I turn off my Wi-Fi right now, and I come back to this picture, and I control click this, and I hit translate, it's going to come up and it's going to say, unavailable at this time, try again later. What you have to do in order for it to actually work in offline mode on the device, you have to select this box. And please note that the translations are not as accurate as the online translations. And Siri and Safari will always process translations online. You want to make note of that. You're going to want to uncheck this when you're not using it. But if I come back to this photo, control click this guy, do translate. And as you can see, it translates the document. It would not do it to a language that I don't have. So if I wanted to do to any of the ones that I have downloaded, as you can see, the three of them that I downloaded are there. And that's how you do it. You just want to make sure that you don't leave that on because the online version is going to provide a better result. If you found value in that video, definitely throw it a thumbs up. It helps the channel. And I just want to throw a huge thank you to all the subscribers and everybody supporting me on this channel. I appreciate it a ton. You guys have an amazing day. Take care.